So I am what you would consider to be a guitar traditionalist, or at least I used to be one, so much so that I went out of my way and built an entire studio inside of a box just so that I could record a real guitar amp in my apartment. It wasn't until I started making content here on YouTube that I started to realize just how great technology can be. The last few years has given us a whole bunch of new tools that can make our jobs that much easier. And I think this really became true for me when I started using amp simulator pedals like this one. I realized that I didn't always need to use a real tube amp. There was an alternative out there that sounded almost just as good, and I no longer needed to haul an amp to all of my gigs. And eventually this led me to learning about impulse responses and realizing that I could use a load box like this guy right here and completely skip the speaker and microphone in my amp altogether. Now obviously here we're only really talking about amplifiers, but what about guitars? What does the future of guitars look like? Well, a company called Lava Music has sent me a smart guitar. So let me go grab it and I'll show you what that means. So this thing only showed up today. So this is not gonna be a full review of the guitar, uh, but this is gonna be more of a first impressions of this thing. And um, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to hear it. And I'm also gonna show you uh, how it compares to some of my other acoustic guitars. So this model is called the Lava Me 3 and it comes with this really cool case. If you want to take a look, looks like this. And the guitar, I've got it in this really cool soft gold color. It comes in a whole bunch of different colors. Uh, and they did send me this. They're not paying me for this video. They just sent it over and asked me to make a video on it. Um, and as you can tell, probably at first glance, uh, this thing looks pretty futuristic. And most notably, it actually has a full-blown multi-touch screen right there on the side of the guitar, which we're gonna take a closer look at in a minute. So as we go through this video and talk about this thing, I kinda wanna start a conversation about technology and guitar, because I think a lot of the guitar community, outside of maybe the metal community, uh, really has a hard time letting go of the past. And I think that's for good reason. A lot of the most amazing music and the most amazing guitar tones come from that old traditional recipe of great sound vintage electric guitar into some analog hand-wired pedals into a great sounding tube amp. But I think this antiquated mindset, which I totally share by the way, is holding us back from being able to appreciate some of the newer technological strides that companies like Lava are making. Towards the end of this video, I'm gonna do a quick sound comparison between this thing and also a Taylor and a Collings acoustic guitar, just so you can kind of get an idea of how it stacks up. But first let's go over some of the specs. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those specifications up on the screen as I talk about this thing. Uh, and like I said, this is basically my first impressions. I've only spent a tiny bit of time with it. Uh, the whole thing is made of carbon fiber, which for some guitarists at first might turn them away, uh, but it feels super solid. Uh, the whole thing, the neck profile feels amazing. It's got like this satin finish actually over the whole guitar. So for sweaty hand folks like myself, uh, my hand glides no problem. And then the whole thing is very nicely contoured, uh, even right here, instead of that hard edge like you'd find on a normal acoustic guitar, it's nice and soft for your forearm uh, to hang over and play. And this model comes in two sizes. They make a 36 inch and a 38 inch. This is the 38 inch model. Um, if you're gonna spend a lot of time traveling, you might prefer the 36 inch model. Uh, for me, I prefer the larger size, especially because my go-to acoustic is a full-size dreadnought. But yeah, let's get it mic'd up and I'll show you what it sounds like. So now we're gonna get into what makes this guitar a smart 
guitar. So I'm gonna grab my other camera and I'm gonna show you what this screen is showing me. Okay, so we can tap the screen to make it light up like this. And right away, we've got some options. There is a tuner right here, uh, BPM for our metronome right away, and then it's got effects templates right there as well. But if we swipe up like this, uh, this just shows you kind of what we've got access to. So again, a tuner, uh, this is a metronome. This is just basically a voice recorder, like a voice note uh, type thing like your phone might have, uh, which basically just allows you to record ideas on the fly. So you think of something, uh, you're jamming or whatever, you can just hit the recorder and record it really fast. Then here we've got effects, practice and loops. And then also here we've got music, pictures, updates, and settings. Everything here really reminds me of an iPhone. Uh, so it's very similar to iOS. Uh, it is not iOS, it's their own uh, proprietary operating system. But let's just jump into effects here. Uh, so you can create your own effects, you can customize them, uh, but I can also just tap them and turn them on. I'm gonna show you what those sound like in a second. Uh, but you, they have a bunch of kind of like preset ones here, and then you can go through and create your own. Uh, reverb, delay, chorus, octave, flanger, wah, a whole bunch of different things. It's got overdrive, distortion, things like that. Uh, if we want to back out, like I said, it's very similar to iOS. Uh, let's back out here. Uh, if we go into the recorder, you can see you just tap to record. And then effects, we've talked about practice. There's a whole bunch of little exercises and kind of smart practice stuff you can do here. This can help you work on your chord transitions, strumming, scale training. Uh, and basically the app listens to you and tells you if you're doing it correctly. Uh, for someone like me, that's obviously not gonna be the most useful thing. So let's jump into loops here. And this is probably the coolest feature uh, for me on this whole smart guitar thing, uh, because you can just go in and you can pick a style uh, you can just pick a backing track, and I have no idea what this is going to sound like. But all of these are just different beats that are going to play, and that's just coming out the front of the guitar right there. Uh, different beats that you can play along to, and then you can create loops. You don't need a beat, you can also create a loop without it as well. So there's even a mobile app that ties all of this together with their own music sharing platform, kind of like a social media platform, and you can actually share your song ideas directly from the guitar to the app. This guitar has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities, which is such a weird thing to say out loud. But I just wanna give you an example of how the effects work. Uh, everything is coming right out of this sound hole, which is kind of crazy. It's going to blend uh, the sound of the acoustic guitar in with the effects that are coming out of the sound hole. Now, if I were to plug in the guitar uh, and go direct either into a DI box or into an audio interface, uh, the pickup would pick up all of the stuff from my strings. There's a pickup inside here, uh, but it would also pick up any effects as well and send that all direct. Okay, so I'm going to pull up uh, just a very simple, let's do a very simple reverb here. Let me just find it. So I've got the reverb on. Now, if you were to listen, there's no effects in post. This is just what's coming out of the sound hole here. So this is so cool. I think as like a travel guitar or as like a songwriting tool, being able to just pull up effects and have them come out of the sound hole and it feels very natural. It doesn't sound super digital, at least to me sitting here. I don't know how it's gonna translate through the microphone, uh, but it really just feels like my acoustic guitar has reverb on it. And I'll just pull up another effect preset here uh, that I think is kind of cool. This one's called Nebula. Uh, and it sounds, let me just make sure our volume is up. All right. And like I said, those are just the presets that come preloaded with the guitar. Uh, you can totally dig in here and come up with your own combinations of effects and try out a whole bunch of different things and then save those templates and use them later. And then another thing I wanted to show you is just how cool this looping app can be. 
Uh, so I've got the looping app open here, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and pick a beat for the background of my loop. You don't need to do this. You can have a loop without a beat, uh, but I'm in styles here and R&B, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick this one. It's called Mad Sexy Cool. Sounds great. And everything is coming right through the sound hole. So the guitar's not plugged in. Everything's coming out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Okay, and then I'm gonna increase the tempo a little bit. Nice, that sounds good. And then when I'm ready to go, I just have to hit record. Now, if you create something you really like, uh, you can go ahead and save it and store it in the guitar. The guitar has like 32 gigabytes of storage or something like that. Uh, and then you can also upload it to the cloud and share it with other people, again, directly from the guitar. It doesn't take any batteries. There's actually a charging port on the bottom here that you can see if it focuses. I don't know if it will. There you go. And it comes with a cable so you can charge this thing. Uh, it's got plenty of battery life, so it's not really gonna be a big concern. And the guitar also came with a bunch of their picks as well. So you can take a look and see in here. So three different sizes. But now what I wanna do is I just wanna compare this thing to two other acoustic guitars. One of those is my wife's Taylor GS Mini, and then the other one is my Collings D1. Now, I don't want you to take this comparison too seriously uh, because there are other variables. Obviously, the guitars are all different sizes. They're obviously made of different materials, but also these strings are brand new on here. Uh, the strings on the other guitars, I think on the Taylor, uh, those might be six months old. And then on the Callings, those are like two or three months old. So they're not gonna have quite the same brightness and brilliance. But either way, I still think it's worth taking a listen.
Okay, so I just wanna give you kind of my final thoughts on the Lava Me 3. Now, I'm definitely gonna to need to spend some more time with it before I can really say anything super concrete. But to me, I think this thing is the perfect travel guitar. Uh, you may wanna go with the 36 inch version, but I mean, this thing is made out of carbon fiber. It's super strong. It's not gonna get damaged easily. One massive downside that comes with traveling with a traditional acoustic guitar is dealing with climate changes because temperature and humidity have a major effect on your instrument. If you're moving from one place to another, you can actually damage your guitar if you're not super careful. With something like this, built out of such a hard material like carbon fiber, you're not gonna be worrying about that at all. It's not gonna be throwing the action off. And climate really isn't something you're even gonna have to pay attention to. Also, you've got access to all your onboard effects as well, which really makes this thing an all-in-one instrument. I think the other type of person that this thing is perfect for is songwriters. I think all the extra tools with looping and being able to record yourself right there without the use of any extra recording equipment is massive when it comes to getting your ideas down. I don't know about you, but this has happened to me a million times where I come up with something really cool on my guitar and then I go run to try and find my phone to record it. By the time I get it and come back, I've completely forgotten it. With the recording app on here, all you have to do is hit record, record the idea and you're done. And then being able to loop a chord progression and play a whole bunch of different ideas over top of it, it's just the perfect way to flesh out a song idea. Okay, so that's all I wanted to cover in this video. And most importantly, I wanna hear from you, especially on the topics of technology and on the future of guitars. I think we can be a little bit closed-minded and maybe stuck in our ways. And I think it would be good for the guitar community to maybe open themselves up to some new ideas every once in a while. Thank you for sticking it through to the end of the video. I know it's a little bit of a different format from what you're used to on the channel, uh, but if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please also consider subscribing to the channel here on YouTube. I release a new guitar video just like this one every single week. Thank you to Lava Music for sending this guitar over and making this video possible. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one.